Hey, my name is Edward Buckles Jr. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana. I am the uh, director, writer, and producer of uh, Katrina Babies, which explores the narratives of the children who are experiencing Hurricane Katrina, and it goes through their unprocessed trauma. My favorite part about you know working on uh, you know Katrina Babies was being able to take back the narratives you know of my generation and you know the uh, generations to come about what happened to us you know during Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans. But that was also the most challenging part, you know, um, having to sit down with my friends, family, students, and you know really you know hear those you know horrifying stories. Uh, but I was able to find strength in it, and I think that's what kept me going to the finish line. I think that the biggest lesson that I learned from working on Katrina Babies was realizing that taking back your narrative was possible. You know, we hear that used, you know, as like a buzz phrase a lot in the industry about, you know, owning your narrative and having a voice. But I started working on this film when when I was in college. You know, I experienced Hurricane Katrina at 13 and you know I heard all of the false um you know, false stories that were being spread. And, you know, to come back at age 30 and, you know, just like deliver a film that takes back the narrative and that 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 tells the truth directly from us, that's, that's just really empowering. So, you know, that's the biggest lesson that I learned that it is possible to correct the narrative. For me, what it means to be a part of the uh, BAFTA community is just being able to represent you know, New Orleans represent uh, my community and, you know, my people, you know, on this platform. And, you know, you know, I always say that my work is not just my work. And I also feel that my career is not just my career. I am a I am a product of, you know, where I come from. So every everything that I do, I keep them in mind. So, you know, yes, I was selected, but they're also a part of this. You know, I also feel that, you know, being a part of the this 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 breakthrough, it's really gonna like allow me to like really find like my people in this industry. Again, having a non-linear uh, path, you know, to filmmakers, sometimes it's lonely uh, because it's like, you know, I felt like most of my career, I was just trying to catch up and like, I was trying to like learn as much as I could so that I can actually execute my projects in like a respectful way. Um, so I dealt with, with a lot of imposter syndrome, you know, when I first started out. But I think that, you know, having like a platform and like a wor world and like a community like this, is just gonna really help me to find my people in this industry and, you know, allow me to connect with great mentors and, you know, uh, um, you know, I've, I've already been meeting people that I feel like, you know, I may work with in the future. So hopefully it's to start to like a great, you know, I guess like relationship with a community. What's on my career bucket list is, you know, to definitely, I definitely want to occupy the scripted space. You know, I've been writing a lot lately and, you know, I would love to create a, you know, feature length narrative. That's, that's definitely on it. I want to be a household name, um, you know, I want to go big, you know, I don't want to keep it small. Like I want to go big. Ha, ha, ha.